Hello, I'm Andrew Heimlich with the Fire Element Association for Music Education, and this is a series of videos explaining how to use First Steps of Music, which is a program developed by Dr. John Fire Element. And the First Steps of Music program starts with infants and goes all the way to upper elementary. And the manual that I'm talking about is this green one, and it's mainly geared towards kindergarten and first grade. But again, the philosophy of students being tuneful, beautiful, artful, we want for the rest of their lives. We want them to be comfortable singers, we want them to be com comfortable movers, and we want them to have um, aesthetic experiences and with artfulness. And so uh, the goal today is moving on to movement, and specifically kind of the art part uh, of movement. Uh, this is, the focus is movement exploration. And just like we want students uh, to be warmed up with their singing voices before we do actual pieces of music, the idea is that you warm up their bodies before we do specific structured type of movement. And the outline that is in the manual is based on uh, the movement ideas of Rudolf Laban. And John took these uh, ideas along with um, a person named um, Jane Cahan, and they put together these activities that were focused on these Le Bon themes, where the students explore different aspects of movement. And some key things before I get into the, what each of those ten Le Bon themes are, is that you want to uh, kind of keep track once you go through these ten of what has been explored, because you want to again have the students have a full experience of these balanced diet of movement. You want to, about once a month, make sure that you do one where the um, movement is initiated by the students themselves. So again, just like with our songs, and we then do Arioso, where they create their own melodies, you want to have opportunities where the students are being creative with how they move, depending on what they, what they listen to, possibly, with music. Um, most of the time you'll do these movements without background music, but if you do use music, you want to make sure that you are not talking a lot during that so the students can hear and listen to the music. And what's challenging sometimes is that the students themselves want to be talking, and so you kind of have to lay the groundwork about how to listen to music so that they are um, focused on that and how that would then make them want to move their bodies in specific ways. So the 10 focuses of uh, the Le Bon theme. The first one is awareness of body parts and whole. So you're focusing just on one particular body part. Um, and there's a lot of fun games that are listed both in the manual and in the supplement book. They give you ideas. Um, one that my, even my older students like to play is a game called paper plate balancing. So I give them a paper plate and they put them on different body parts and then they move around the room as they're trying to keep it balanced elbow, shoulder, head, hand, knees, kind of a hard one. Uh, so initiating with a particular body part, awareness of time, where you ask them to do motions over a certain amount of time, awareness of space, which of course would make sense with movements, uh, how to move in personal space and in general space. Um, sometimes that might be also called locomotor or non-locomotor, moving in your location and then moving around areas, awareness of levels, awareness of weight, when things feel heavy or light, um, awareness of locomotion, so meaning moving around, so how do you walk, how do you leap, how do you run, how do you hop, how do you jump, awareness of flow, things that are sudden or sustained, bound or free, awareness of shape, so how you mold and change the shape of your body, and awareness of others, and then, as I said, initiated movement by the student. So, in our next video, we will be talking about form and expression, movement for form and expression. And so what you might want to do is pick those activities first for form and expression, and then figure out, okay, what type of creative movement, movement exploration, do I want the students to explore that would help them enhance what they're going to be doing in the form and expression. And the students really love these activities, um, especially at this time when I'm making this video is during 
the pandemic. And so we're limited on being able to work with another student, an individual, and the students are not as able to be as free in the regular classroom. So coming to music and being able to move and, and express themselves in this way not only builds their musicianship, but also helps in the social and emotional learning aspect. Hope that was helpful.